Hello and welcome to another Ginger Mathematician video where I'm going to go through my predictions for the IGCSE Edexcel Mathematics A course and this is for the paper one on the 19th of May 2023 on the Friday. So let's go through my predictions. So I've been through the last 11 papers that I can find. Again we do have to take into account COVID in terms of priorities of topics but hopefully I've got a nice overview here of what topics really do appear. So I break this down into three three separate sections here. First of all, we've got this section, the often section. I'm going to call this my so-called tier three topics. So the ones that come up pretty often, but at the same time, you should be focusing on the topics tier two and tier one above as well. And notice this can feature things like standard form here. So that's what on medium style topic, things like linear equations that also includes simultaneous equations as well. Circle theorems, transformations of functions. This would be seen as a harder topic. So keep that in mind. And that's the same here with differentiation and vectors too. So when you're going through this particular revision, again, we've got our different tiers of topics, but you also do need to consider which are the harder topics, which are the easier topics as you order your revision. As we scroll up, then we are going to our almost certain category. This is what I'm going to call here my tier two topics. And these are ones you really should spend some time revising. There is no surprise whatsoever that expanding brackets here at a whopping 91%. So that's almost going to come up every single paper that you do. I would certainly put this into the easier category particularly within this tier two section, call it geometry, probably in the medium as with SIRDs as well. Now number skills, this includes, if you're wondering what this topic is, highest common factor and lowest common multiple. So make sure you do revise that carefully. And interestingly, averages without frequency tables. So things like a combined mean, or they give you the modes this, the means this, the interquartile range is this, work out what numbers they are, is very, very common on the Edexcel Mathematics A. Now scrolling up to what you've been waiting for, of course, is our tier one category. This is where you should start your revision on the tier one. And you can see each of the percentages here for these green topics have more than 100%. Therefore, I'm classifying this as certain. Within this, these two really should you pay attention to. So you work out the area of 2D shapes, area or surface area of 3D shapes and volume comes up very, very often and also can be some of the harder questions on the course. So if you're looking to get those real top grades, then the topics to focus on are these two here. Quadratics can appear in a variety of different forms here. We've got things such as quadratic simultaneous equations. We've got things like completing the square. And again, generally is the more difficult topics. So again, those top three topics are important. Probability is also huge. That this can vary though from a very easy question to a very hard question. So do keep that in mind. Some of the very hardest questions on the Edexcel Mathematics IGCC so far have been probability questions. Indices is an interesting one. It does appear, but there's often like a one marker or a two marker. So you should spend time on this. That's really, really important. But at the same time, again, it's not as big priority as say the other four above. And then we've got percentages, again, as a stalwart of the paper, can be in a variety of different forms, compound interest, simple interest, uh, doing some problem solving as well does come up. And of course, factorizing brackets, the kind of twin of the expanding brackets, again, coming up a whopping 109% of the time. And then sequences and series, the last thing I want to mention here, now, this can come up as a work at the nth term of a particular sequence, but it can also use the sum formulas, which is on your formula sheet. So please don't forget about your formula sheet. It is very, very helpful. Now, if you want to get up to speed on all things IGCSE, I've actually made a cheat sheet that's appropriate for both Cambridge and Edexcel. If you're interested in that cheat sheet, then check out the video in front of you because you can check have I covered all these topics from the IGCSE Mathematics A exam.